Now the MK84 is a keyboard from mechanicalkeyboards.com. The MK84 comes in two different colors, a white version and a black version. The black version has a black cable, the white version has a white cable. The white version is backlit with blue LEDs and the black version is backlit with true white LEDs. So this keyboard isn't really a 60% keyboard, but it's not really an 80% keyboard. It's more like a 70% keyboard. It's possibly my favorite form factor when it actually comes to a keyboard. It's basically a 60% keyboard, but they added on just a few keys. Over here, you still have the arrow keys. You have the delete key, the home key, the page up, page down, and end. So in order to complete this form factor, they took out the Windows key on the right side of the keyboard and they also made the Alt, Control, and Shift on the right side of the keyboard just a little bit smaller. Everything else is normal size though. Holding down the function key gives you access to a number pad, which is kind of weird. It takes a little bit getting used to just because it's not perfectly up and down. It's a little offset to it, but after you get used to it, it's actually usable. Also using the function key, you have shortcuts for my computer, accessing your default internet browser, a calculator, your default music player, you have also media controls, and you have window key lock. You also have insert scroll lock and number lock. And when you activate number lock, it basically activates the function number of keys on the keyboard and locks them so you can use it as a normal number pad. And if you want it to go back to a normal keyboard, all you hit is function and number lock again. Furthermore, with the function keys, you can also adjust the LED brightness. You can also adjust the LED mode. You have static, reactive, breathing, ripple, and snake. The keyboard uses Greetech switches, which I have mixed feelings about. Here I have Greetech brown switches and I also have Greetech blue switches. Now it, it says blue online, but if you look underneath, they're actually green. So just ignore, ignore that they're green. Just know that they're labeled as blue online. I really like the brown switches. They feel great and the activation bump is slightly more defined than a Cherry MX brown switch, but it's not to the point where it's going to make your typing experience any slower or impact really anything that you do. In fact, it's barely noticeable. So the Greetech blue switches, quote unquote green switches, are different. They're weird. They have this really large activation bump. And I'm gonna to try to explain what I mean by that, okay? If you go to the brown switch keyboard, right, you have this little bump. Imagine that bump as a speed bump, okay? You have this little speed bump, okay? When you come over here, you have the same height of speed bump, but the speed bump is longer. However, where the speed bump kind of comes over that hump when the key actually activates, right, ends in the same spot, okay? So what I'm saying is it's a larger bump. It's almost like what they did was they took the brown switch key. This is what I think they did is they took the brown switch key, right? And they added something underneath where that activation is to make an audible sound. And so therefore making it thicker. Uh, so that bump is just more, it moves. When you push it, it like boom, boom. It just, it almost has a clunky feel to it to me. Um, however, when I was uh, typing in like speed tests, I was only coming maybe five words shorter than normal. Um, and I'm not the greatest typer, so it's really hard for me to tell if it has a huge impact on typing or not. However, it is noticeable to me when I play games. When I was playing CSGO, I noticed it like immediately that something was really weird about the switch. And then I had to bust out like every keyboard I had to A, B them to try to figure out what that difference was. Cause I couldn't tell right away. The MK84 costs 85 to $89, depending on what version you get. I can highly recommend the brown switch one, no question. In fact, this is probably going to end up becoming my daily driver, okay? Can I recommend the blue switch one, okay? That's going to be up to you. If you can get over the fact that it has a larger bump, it's not that big of a deal, it's not like the end of the world, you can still type on it, you can still game on it, 
but if you're doing like a ton of typing, if you're like write articles or in like school and you have to write a ton of papers, I would stay away from it. Other than that, it's fine if you're especially looking for a blue switch keyboard in this form factor, a form factor that's between 60 and 80, because there's not a lot of keyboards that are this form factor out on the market. Um, then yeah, it's not a horrible buy. There are a lot worse keyboards out there than this, but it's not on the top of my recommendation list. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.